Life in a Mars colony will push human endurance to its limits. It will break us down to our most primal state, where strength comes from community and survival has to be earned on a daily basis. Just trying to reach the planet Mars will be an odyssey. Settlers face a grueling six to nine month journey in space, contending with the toll of microgravity on their bodies, weakening muscles, thinning bones, and disrupting bodily fluids, sometimes leading to vision problems. This will be combined with the psychological strain of isolation and confinement during the long voyage. But upon arrival, the transition from microgravity to the weaker gravity of Mars, about one third of Earth's, will be disorienting. Settlers will likely experience gravity sickness, feeling heavy, nauseous, and uncoordinated as their muscles struggle to adapt. Life on Mars itself presents a harsh reality. The planet's atmosphere, just 1% the density of Earth's, and rich in carbon dioxide, offers no breathable air, while temperatures plunge to an average of negative 60 degrees Celsius and even colder at the poles. Radiation levels are dangerously high due to the lack of a protective magnetic field, exposing settlers to cosmic rays and solar storms. To survive, they'll rely on habitats with closed-loop life support systems that recycle air, water, and even waste, creating a self-sustaining environment. Exercise routines will remain crucial for maintaining physical health, while robust psychological support will help settlers navigate the isolation and pressure of life on a hostile planet. Living on Mars means designing habitats that can shield settlers from extreme cold, radiation, and dust storms. This is the Ice Home, a unique habitat concept developed by NASA's Langley Research Center. The dome-shaped structure is built from Martian water ice, which could be mined locally. The Ice Home's translucent icy walls allow sunlight to shine in, making for some really fantastic interior lighting, perfectly suited for greenhouses and water also provides significant protection from radiation to keep our food safe and healthy. By using the natural resources on Mars, this habitat minimizes the need for heavy materials to be transported from Earth. Next is the 3D printed Mars habitat. The best example of this so far would be Mars Dune Alpha a project backed by NASA that has actually done a full-scale test with human occupants living in isolation for a full year. This habitat is designed to be printed using Martian regolith, the rocky soil covering the surface, and built up layer by layer. 3D printing has the advantage of fully automated construction, reducing the time and resources needed to build these habitats manually. Another innovative concept is the inflatable habitat. These can be packed down into a standard rocket fairing, then transported easily to Mars before inflating to their full size. Sierra Space and NASA have already developed similar expandable modules that are durable and versatile. These habitats feature multiple layers of Kevlar-like material to provide thermal insulation, radiation protection, and resistance to micrometeorites. Once inflated, the structures become stronger than steel and offer up a large internal volume. A future Mars colony might leverage all of these different construction methods to meet specific needs in different locations. Ice houses for growing plants, 3D printing for strong permanent structures, and inflatables to quickly deploy large habitats in new locations. At the same time, communication between Earth and Mars will be one of the most challenging aspects of colony life. Due to the vast distance, any message sent between the two planets will experience a delay ranging from 4 to 24 minutes each way, depending on their position in orbit. This time lag changes the way settlers will interact with the Earth. To make communication reliable, a series of relay satellites will orbit Mars, acting as communication hubs between the colony and Earth. These satellites will not only handle regular messages, but also support mission-critical transmissions, such as health data, emergency signals, and scientific discoveries. SpaceX, NASA, and other space agencies are already working on creating networks like this for lunar communication, and these networks could be expanded to include Mars. Given the delay, real-time conversations are impossible, so communication will often feel like a blend of recorded video calls and email. Imagine recording a video message for a friend, sharing your experience, then waiting hours, sometimes days, for a response. To help settlers cope with delayed communication, AI companions and virtual assistants will likely play a big role. Think of them as a blend of personal assistant and virtual friend, capable of providing social interaction without the need for instant Earth-based connections. Establishing a colony on Mars will require an incredible range of skills 
from advanced science and engineering to practical everyday roles that keep the community thriving. While highly specialized skills are essential, Mars will also need people with practical and adapted abilities, the everyday heroes who will create a sense of community and ensure the colony feels like home. Hydroponic technicians will help operate Martian farms, managing the day-to-day -day care of plants, monitoring water systems, and harvesting crops. These roles will likely resemble traditional farming and gardening jobs here on Earth. Cooks will transform basic ingredients grown on Mars into nutritious meals, finding creative ways to work with limited ingredients. You can't just eat freeze-dried meals out of bags for your entire life. You will go insane. General maintenance workers will handle everyday tasks like cleaning habitats, maintaining robots, and dealing with the constant onslaught of Martian dust. Environmental operators will help manage basic aspects of the colony's recycling and resource management systems, handling waste, monitoring water levels, and ensuring that air quality remains high. This stuff that most of us take for granted on Earth becomes a matter of life and death on Mars. Even just trying to dispose of garbage is going to be a massive undertaking. Teachers will educate younger settlers as the colony grows, sharing both Earth-based knowledge and Martian-specific survival skills. Health and wellness workers will provide physical and mental support to settlers, offering exercise programs to combat the effects of low gravity, and organizing recreational activities to boost morale and counter isolation. The truth is, settlers will not have Earth's luxuries, but they will be part of a pioneering society where everyone's contributions are valued and vital. It's not necessarily going to be fun, but the value of hard work will be much higher on Mars than it is on Earth. With only a few hundred or thousand people initially, settlers will experience a level of isolation and interdependence that's unfamiliar to most of us. Similar to research stations in Antarctica, where small teams live in isolation for months, Mars settlers will depend on each other for both practical support and social connection. This small community will have to foster a strong sense of purpose where everyone feels invested in the colony's success. But it will also magnify interpersonal tensions. Lack of privacy and the inability to escape when tensions arise could make minor issues feel more intense, requiring settlers to develop patience, conflict resolution skills, and adaptability. Imagine giving the thrill of a rocket launch as a gift right on someone's desk. Space Rocket Lab brings that experience to life with their stunning 3D printed models of iconic rockets and engines, including the powerhouse Raptor 3 engine. This model showcases the intricate details of one of the most advanced rocket engines, giving space enthusiasts and dreamers alike an up-close view of this engineering marvel. With bundles that include the spaceship, booster, and launch pad, Space Rocket Lab lets you bring the entire launch experience into any space, perfect for inspiring children, surprising a friend, or adding a unique piece to your own collection. These models aren't just visually captivating, they are built with durable materials and designed for easy assembly, making them ideal for collectors, space lovers, or anyone inspired by exploration. And here's an exclusive offer. Use the coupon code THESPACERACE at checkout to get 10% off your order. Whether it's a holiday gift, a birthday surprise, or a special treat for yourself, spacerocketlab.com has the perfect model waiting for you. Check out the link in the description and start building your own mini space fleet today. Isolation, confinement, and lack of contact with Earth's environment can lead to unique mental health challenges including cabin fever and sensory deprivation. In remote areas like submarines or Antarctic bases, coping mechanisms include structured routines, regular exercise, and mental health support systems. Group discussions, meditation, and creative outlets will also play a major role in maintaining psychological well-being. Over time, Mars colonies will develop their own unique culture, born out of necessity and ingenuity. Limited resources and a challenging environment will drive settlers to find creative solutions, from celebrating milestones together to inventing new forms of entertainment. Like on naval submarines, where space is limited, or on the ISS, where astronauts come from diverse backgrounds. Settlers on Mars will bond over shared challenges and the sense of being part of something historic. This culture of innovation and resilience will become a source of pride and identity for the colony. Healthcare on Mars will be unlike anything we experience on Earth. Settlers will face unique medical risks, and when emergencies arise, the colony's isolation and limited resources will heighten the stakes. 
the confined artificial environment that they will be living in can lead to respiratory issues and long-term psychological stress may manifest in anxiety, depression, or other mental health conditions. Additionally, injuries from outdoor activities or accidents with habitats such as falls, burns, or equipment malfunctions could quickly turn life-threatening without immediate intervention. Despite precautions, living on Mars will put the human body under stress that may be manageable short-term but difficult to sustain over years, creating potential long-term health issues settlers must be prepared to face. Growing old on Mars, for example, might not be an option. Even if the body can still live to the age of a senior citizen, it would be very taxing on limited resources to care for the elderly. There might need to be some harsh realities about how Martians approach the end of life. Emergency preparedness will be crucial, with every settler trained in basic first aid to assist until a medical professional can take over. Equipment like robotic surgery assistance or telemedicine with specialists on Earth may aid in complex procedures, but delays in communication mean that urgent care will depend on the skills and resourcefulness of the on-site medical team. The initial Mars colony will be small and isolated, but what happens as humanity learns to adapt to life on Mars? Decades or even centuries into the future, Mars could transform from a frontier outpost to a thriving civilization. So let's imagine what this future might look like as human ingenuity and resilience pave the way for growth on the Red Planet. In the early decades, Mars colonies will likely consist of modular habitats connected by underground tunnels and shielded from radiation. However, as technology improves, these small habitats could expand into fully developed towns and eventually cities. Advanced building techniques such as 3D printing with Martian regolith or even the creation of stronger materials in Martian factories would allow for larger, more permanent structures. These cities might be protected by domes or constructed underground with above-ground facilities for agriculture and energy production. One of the most ambitious dreams for Mars colonization is terraforming, or the gradual modification of the Martian environment to make it more Earth-like. Decades or centuries in the future, this could involve creating controlled areas with breathable air, introducing microbial life to enrich the soil, and perhaps even creating small lakes or rivers by releasing underground water reservoirs. Terraforming would be a long and challenging process requiring breakthroughs in atmospheric science, climate control, and even synthetic biology. Specially engineered plants and bacteria might be introduced to Mars to help produce oxygen, gradually creating pockets of life. In a few hundred years, areas of Mars could have green valleys within enclosed regions with fresh water, air, and even plant life. Humans evolving to thrive in Mars' unique environment could also become a reality over centuries. Lower gravity affects muscles, bones, and even the heart, and in the long run, genetic or medical modifications may be necessary for settlers' health and adaptation. Scientists might develop genetic treatments to enhance bone density, resistance to radiation, or respiratory efficiency, gradually leading to a population adapted specifically for Mars. Children born on Mars could exhibit unique physical adaptations, especially if exposed to modified diets, gravity, and environmental conditions from birth. Imagine generations of settlers with denser bones, specialized respiratory systems, or heightened resistance to radiation. Genetic enhancements could become part of life, creating a population uniquely suited to Mars. Inevitably, it would also lead to significant physiological differences between Earthlings and Martians, potentially creating a unique Martian identity. With resources like rare minerals, Martian colonies could become vital industrial hubs for the solar system, supplying materials and advanced technology for space exploration. Mars has unique geological resources, and as manufacturing capabilities expand, it could produce everything from building materials to fuel, even supporting mining operations in the asteroid belt. The planet could even become a scientific center, advancing research in areas like astrogeology, astrophysics, and even biology as scientists study Martian soil and any potential signs of life. As Mars colonies grow, they will develop unique cultural identities and even political structures. Over generations, Martian settlers may create customs and traditions adapted to their environment, 
celebrations of Earth-Mars synchronization events, sports adapted for low gravity, and even Martian-inspired art and music. Politically, Mars might establish self-governing bodies creating its own laws and societal structures, reflecting the needs and values of its unique environment. Eventually, Mars may become an independent society, with its own Martian identity and culture distinct from Earth. The relationship between Mars and Earth could become complex, potentially leading to political tensions or independence movements. Managing resources and adapting Earth-based governance to Mars conditions will be challenging, requiring new political solutions. In the long run, Mars could truly transform from a small colony to a thriving independent civilization, one that continues to push the boundaries of human potential. This red planet, once a symbol of distant dreams, could become a true extension of humanity with its own culture, economy, and society. Humanity's journey to Mars is really just the beginning, and the future holds endless possibilities for what this new world could become.